Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionray, and today you're going to learn how to save and back up your libraries all inside Final Cut Pro. This tutorial should be super quick, but if you know anything about other editors like Premiere Pro, you may be asking yourself, but how do I save my work? So let's take a look at the Final Cut Pro auto-saving feature that keeps your work safe and sound. So to answer this question directly, does Final Cut Pro automatically save my work for me? You bet it does. So Final Cut Pro will save your work at timed intervals automatically. But since Final Cut Pro saves on its own in the background, there may be changes that you've made that you don't necessarily want to keep. Technically, anything you do moving forward is automatically saved. Therefore, if you do something you actually don't want to do, it's automatically saved. But usually these will be things you notice right off the bat, so a quick solution is to undo your work. I can simply undo my last action by hitting Command Z to undo, or Command Shift Z to redo. That brings us up to backing up your libraries in Final Cut Pro, which is extremely important for ensuring that you're keeping your work safe. To access or update where your backups are stored, go to File, Library Properties. You can also access this by hitting Control command j The Properties menu should now open on the right side. Here, we're going to select Modify Settings next to Storage Locations, and a new window should pop up. While you can also alter where you want to store your media, motion content, and cache, we're going to focus on backups. From the drop-down, you can either select an existing location or create a new one by selecting Choose and finding a custom storage location. Since Final Cut Pro libraries can get pretty hefty in size, we suggest storing on an external hard drive. Once you've selected your location, hit OK, and you can now edit knowing you'll be storing a backup of your library in a safe location. And there you have it. You've just learned how to save in Final Cut Pro. Except you didn't really learn how to save, you learned that you don't have to remember to try and save. And you also learned how to back up your libraries in Final Cut Pro. So guys, that's it from me. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to save in Final Cut Pro helpful. And if you want to make Final Cut Pro even better, over here at Motionary, we've got a whole bunch of awesome Final Cut Pro templates, transitions, effects, stock footage, and more. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.